thanks for um, thanks for coming. Um, this is Coffee Talk. All right, so we're going to talk today about how to over overcome and get it done. And by the overcome part, I mean, you know, like to overcome those moments when either you know we get that overwhelm that we feel and we don't know you know where to start or what to do or how to you know you know kind of like that I'm just gonna go to bed with a pint of haagen and a spoon moment um, or maybe just when things kinda got a little bit out of control now for uh, things get a little bit out of control for everybody but when it happens to people who are more right-brained you know the organizationally challenged types um, it sends us a little bit spinning it makes us, you know, because we always, we look within instead of without. We're organized people, people who are born that way, that they have that gift. They look, they, they, like if things aren't quite right or something, they, they look and they say, well, what's happening in my world right now? And how, you know, what's hap what, how can I adjust so that things can be back into place? Whereas we automatically think there must be something wrong with us because that's the way it's been, you know. And, you know, if you've been, if you grew up this way and you have parents that are organizationally gifted, then you definitely heard a lot of, you know, what's wrong with you kind of stuff. All right, so futility means um, fruitless, pointless. These are synonyms. Uselessness, ineffectiveness, um, barrenness, unprofitability. You know, futility, like why bother? And most of the time, um, you know, like this happens to a lot of people for a lot of different reasons. And one of the things is like, say, physical fitness. And that's why you need, that's why people often do need a coach or do need to talk to somebody, be in support groups. That's why there's Weight Watchers. You know, that's why there is places for people to go because it feels like nothing is happening it feels like nothing's going to happen, especially if you've been trying to do something for a long time, you know, it, and it feels like, well, why bother? And that's just a lie from hell. All right. That is a lie from the pit of hell. It, it, there is, it is worth trying and things will change. Nothing stays the same if you do something. It only stays the same if you don't. So, you know, sometimes life just happens. And by that, I mean like, Sometimes things go on around us and, you know, we really do need to be in a position where we realize that it doesn't only just happen to us, but to realize what is us, you know, like to say, all right, what, what are we, you know, um, we, we think differently and we all know that we all know we do. We have this, you know, overwhelm, we have inactivity. We have paralyzation, we have indecision, and we have futility. These are things that affect us on a regular basis. Now, when you're, when you're practiced at other things, these are much less prevalent in our lives. It's much less, but we all can, I, I really do assume, and I'd like to know if, you know, you're welcome to chime in, please. Like, if this is something that resonates, you know? Um, where, where there's so much to do. And sometimes it isn't even a lot of housework. Sometimes like when you get your stuff together and you're moving on a roll and stuff, but then other things in life come in, you know, you could be getting things done, but still feeling like you're on a treadmill. Um, so when we know that it is all in our head, because sometimes we know that it's all in our head, it doesn't make it any less real. When when we're when we could be in a in a position of complete inactivity, um, you know, we know like like here's an example. This is from years and years ago, um, and it still happens to me now, but not like it used to. That's for sure. Um, where I, all day would go by, you know, I'd be I would stay at home mom, you know, and I had um, I had time to do things and then it would be like four o'clock. I'd know my husband was coming home soon. The house was a wreck. And I knew that like he was going to say, you know, what did you do all day? And not in a mean way either. You know, it wasn't like, like, I know that there's some people that can be kind of mean about stuff, but I, you know, I don't want to give that impression. It was just like an honest answer. I mean, an honest question, you know, it was an honest question. What did you do all day? 
I did a lot of nothing. That's what I call it. I, I say, man, what are you doing? I'm doing a lot of nothing because there is lots that is being done, but nothing is being finished. And so when you're in a position where you feel like it doesn't matter, when you have that futility going, then yeah, it's all in your head because when there's a plan, when there's a roadmap, when there's a system in place and when you begin to move, um, it changes everything. So it is all in our head. So I want you to think about who you are. All right. When you get into, or if you ever, again, get into a position where you have that overwhelm, you know, where you feel like, Oh my God, I want you to feel like, I want you to think about who am I? All right. Who am I? You've really got to know yourself. Remember, we can't act like, um, Martha Stewart. We're not Martha Stewart. We never will be Martha Stewart. Now, now in a way, I, I, I don't mean that in a way that we can't be excellent homemakers. I don't mean that at all. We're talking about personality traits here, not musical ability. Cause I always say that there is people, there are people that were born musical and do not, you know, continue on with it and aren't very good as they grow up. And then somebody who was not born musical, but took lessons and practiced, and now they're excellent. They're much better than that other person. So I don't want this to seem, me to, it to be sounding like, I think that you can't get excellent at homemaking. But the thing that I'm talking about when we say we're never going to be like the Martha Stewart type, what I mean by that is, our, our personalities aren't going to change where we, we really like flexibility. We're not rigid people. We never will be. There's going to be times when we aren't going to care that the sheet isn't put under the mattress. You know, we're, we're not going to care we, that all of the hangers are all the exact same kind of hanger. There's certain things that we're, that are never going to affect us like they would affect somebody else with a different personality as well as the fact that we're always we're people people we're always going to be there for somebody we're not going to ever say oh gee i'm so sorry i have to go down to the stream with my clothing and beat them on the rock because that's the best way to get all the stains out and that takes me several hours so no I cannot, you know, come and pick you up from the airport today. You're going to have to take a bus. We're like, we're not the type. We're not. Now, at the same time, we do get the whole say no thing. So I don't want anybody to be like, oh, my God, she says one thing and another. But you know what? There's a balance. And there's certain things that we are never going to succumb to. And that's rigidity. All right. So having had said that. When you take, when things are getting overwhelmed or when you feel like that futility, oh my God, paralyzation kind of thing, I really want you to start doing something different than you did before. Now, remember this, all right? If you continue to do the same thing that you did before, you're only going to get the same things happening. It's like if you're the kind of person that needs to eat to, because you feel like if you eat, it, it makes you, um, it gives you comfort. Well, if you realize, you know, say you're, you're putting weight on, you're putting weight on, you don't like it, you go to a therapist, you read books or something, you think it through and you say, all right, it is obviously true that this food does not comfort me. It's a lie. It makes me feel like it does in the beginning, but it doesn't comfort me. So what does that person have to do? They have to do something different when they feel like putting food in their mouth because that's what they were used to doing. Okay. So this is like the same thing. I want you to, when you see yourself feeling paralyzed, I want you to say, what do I do now? What do I do now that I know myself and that I know that it's really not true that I can't get something done. I know it's not true. I know that I can't, that it, it isn't futile. I know that's not true. What do I do differently now so that I'm not going to be buried in, you know, my mess a week later? And you know, it doesn't take all that long, right? It doesn't take all that long. 
for for things to get out of control. You know, when you go in the kitchen and you, you know, open up a bottle of something and you leave the cap on the counter and you had a pizza and you leave the pizza box on the table and you had some napkins and you leave those on the table and then they fall off the table and you walk out of the room anyway and you sit on the couch with a blanket, you leave the ca the blanket there. You know, maybe you took off your pants while you were there on the couch because it's hot out and now you leave your pants there and you walk to the bedroom and you know all of those things there's a trail behind us and if you don't live alone and you are setting that kind of example then they're doing the same thing and then you know it becomes a vicious cycle where you know you can't say to them pick up after yourself because you know you're probably the worst culprit so I want us to begin to do something differently when we feel that overwhelm. I want you to realize that all it means is that something has changed in your world. That's all it means. It means that something has changed. And so you have to take a deep breath, give yourself a break. And by that, I mean, realize that, hey, this stuff isn't easy. This is devastating for people who are organizationally gifted. This isn't easy for them. This is just something that comes naturally to them. So they know what to do when they do it. But when there's times in their lives when things are things, you know, it throws them life throws them a curve, then they get they have to adjust, you know. Um, so I want you to give yourself a break and realize that this isn't easy for everybody. It's hardly easy for anybody. And you know, especially during different times of the year, maybe the holiday season, maybe something that happened in your life and it's a reflection that you have and it could be in June. Who the heck knows? It doesn't have to, you know, whatever it is. Maybe you started a business or maybe you're just in a new relationship. Maybe you just got a new job. Maybe you had went back to school. Maybe you got, um, maybe you had a baby. Like there are so many things that can you know, enter into our lives. Whereas if we were an organizationally gifted person, we would just step back and say, um, you know, well, you know, what do I have to do here? What's, what's changed here? Instead of saying, Oh my God, here we go again. Um, I happen to see my niece on this call. Um, her name is Lisa and I've known her since she was a little, little girl. And she, this little, this woman, um, you know, she's a grown woman now and she has a darling daughter and she lives in, um, Spokane, Washington. Do you live right? Um, she lives in Washington state and, um, I see, I've seen her as a little girl and as a, a teenager, she lived actually upstairs from me in an apartment when I had my first child and she would come down and help me. And, um, she really had her act together and does she still? Yeah. But is it as easy for her now as it was then? No, she's got a very big house. She has a very busy life. She has her, her, her business. That's like a, a coffee. Um, it's called, Oh, what is it called? Lise? It's called, Oh, I love the name. But anyway, it's called some really cool little name, a coffee jam and Java. That's it. It's called jam and Java. And, in um, Washington, if anybody's in Washington, stop in Jamma Java. Um, and, and, you know, so she, you know, she was my first person, um, one of my first people in, in my group of class that I, that I did my very first class that I ran. And I was surprised to see her there. I was surprised. I, I said, you know, well, well, at least, you know, I've known you for years. You don't have this issue, but you know what? Things have changed in her life. Now, does this mean that, you know, she, maybe is as bad as I ever was. I'm sure not. But does it mean that people don't need help because they're in a different stage of life now? Yeah. So that my whole point to saying that is that I just want you to realize that you're not alone. You just have to think of yourself more differently and, and give yourself a break and take a look around and evaluate and say to yourself, all right, what has changed? Think and then reevaluate. What do I have to do now? All right. That's what, that's what I want you to do. I want you to say, what do I have to do now? And don't look at the whole picture. That's projection. We can't read the future. We don't know what the future brings, but we do know what's happening right now. And that's one of the good things about this system that we do because it breaks things down. All right. 
Now, um, that just do it thing, it, you know, that Nike, you know, thing, it, some, sometimes it serves us and sometimes we just want to, you know, punch that person that did that marketing right in the jaw, you know, just do it. Yeah, it's easy for you, you to say, but in reality, like in this context that we're talking about, you, you really do. You really do have to just do it. You have to get to the place where you realize those thoughts of, of futility, that, that I, it doesn't serve me. We, we live in a body. We have a soul. We are a spirit. That's what it is, okay? So, we, so, you know, if you feed your flesh too much, your spirit, you know, your spirit is never going to scream. It's a gentleman or a lady, however you want to put it. Um, it's always just, just going to speak in a, in a very kind tone whereas the body will scream you know and if you feed the body and you don't feed the spirit well you know your body is going to tell you oh my god this is how you feel because it's all about feelings if you allow yourself to have some meditation to you know not allow your flesh to take over then you really can ask it to just step aside step aside and then that you know take the first step you know the first step towards getting somewhere is to decide that you are not going to stay where you are and some unknown person said that and I liked it all right so sometimes shit just happens all right and um, here's just another illustration of now this is another thing and this is why I put this up here the picture of the woman with her hands over her face it says why bother trying to become better if I'm destined to fall short now, the reason that I put this up here wasn't to like beat a dead horse, like, all right, I got you got it already, but is because do you know how many images on Google there are like this? What does that tell you? It tells you that it's common. It tells you that this happens. It tells you that, no, you're not alone. How many of us believed that nobody was like us? Nobody's like this. How many times have you said nobody should live this way? You know, so you're not, the, you're not the only one. All right. And that's what this is all about. All right. So I want us to wake up. Okay. I want us to wake up. I want us to stop playing those old tapes and you want things to change. Now, of course, everybody isn't in this place right now. That's listening to this. If you're, if you're not in this place, this is a great, you know, video to watch when the time comes, if the time comes that you, you're beginning to feel like, I don't like how this is. Things are getting out of control. I don't know what to do. Um, if you're not, if you're not in that place now and everything is cool, then remember this. All right. Remember this when that time comes. Now here it says, um, so you're afraid, do it afraid. I love that so much. You know, everybody that is a very, is, is successful in any category of life. The beginning was scary. And the whole thing is that, you know, pushing aside the fear and doing it anyway. Just do it anyway. Um, th this one is so cute. Just do your just do your honest to goodness best. And I love the little Nike thing there because you, get, you really do hear the just do it in there, even though it doesn't even say it, right? Um, and, you know, just, you know, believe that you can do it and that I believe in you. So um, here is like, keep calm and make a plan. Don't you love those things with the little crowns on them? Um, those little, I don't know who does them, but I like them. Um, and you're not alone, all right? You, you not only have me, but there's an awesome group in our Facebook um, community and in our Tidy Tutor community. There is, this is an awesome group of people. Um, so there's a verse in Ecclesiastes um, that, well, it's actually a few chapters. I mean, a few verses and it's Ecclesiastes four. And so if you don't mind, I'll read it. It says two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falls, for he has not another to help him up. And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. And a three board cord is not quickly broken. All right, because while I was reading this, I'm saying to myself, you should have edited that part out and just put little dots, but that's why I left it in there. A three-fold cord is not quickly broken. So I hope that you, you know, kind of like heard this, because sometimes scripture can be difficult to, um, to soak in. 
So bear with me. I'm just going to read the very beginning one more time. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. If they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone, for he falls, for he falls, he, for he has not another to help him up. All right. So when he falls, he doesn't have another to help him up. And so, you know, yeah, that's another thing that we could kind of see that's universal. You know, people have always needed other people. And this is kind of like a disease disorder because um, it's kind of funny that dis-ease is, um, you know, lack of ease, dis-ease and um, disorder, you know, lack of order. I, I like that. All right. Sometimes I'm simple. Um, but that our disorder, you know, really has been going on for a long time. It's, it is something that is socially unacceptable. It's not socially acceptable. So, so many of us have, you know, kind of like just either grinned and bared it or just went it alone. And, you know, I have a lot of people that are that are older, you know, and think, oh my God, I'm, you know, I've been trying this for years. I've always been this and life is changing for them. It's, it really is such a simple thing. It's just education. And when, when you feel like you're all alone and you feel like you can't even tell anybody about it, you know, um, that's where the trouble lies because, um, a lie revealed, it lo loses all his power. All of his power is gone. There's no power in a lie when it's revealed. So, you know, be there for each other, okay? Take advantage of, of the group. So it's about support. So set a goal, make a plan, get to work, stick to it, and you'll reach the goal. It really is that, that real. It really, really is. I could promise you that. I promise you that. And most of you know it. Most of you have at least, if not done it to a, a point where it's like, holy mackerel, this is great. And then maybe you fell back off. But the great thing is, is get right back on. It's just like riding a bike. Okay, so if anybody wants to um, comment or to, you know, ask any questions, it doesn't have to be about this. Um, all right, um, Terry, if you want me to unmute you, just tell me or I'll read it. I'll read it and then you could just type in unmute me and you could talk if you want. All right. All right. You said, I needed this chat so much. I've been so overwhelmed with the pantry remodel and the house is a mess. I'm trying to keep the things that I can keep together together and take deep breaths. Thank you. Thank you for helping us. Are you welcome? You know what? There's two things I want to say about that. One is one of the things that I wanted to, like I, I spoke to somebody today on, on a, um, a 30 minute call and you know, she lost her husband seven years ago and she's really an organized woman and she feels like overwhelmed. But you know what, some of the things that, one of the things that I, I helped her to see is that it doesn't have to be perfect. There's some things that, hey, you know, what, what are you living? You know, what is, what is the life you're living now? We have to realize that some things just don't matter anymore. You know, do the bathroom swish. That is freaking easy. Keep your laundry going. Make sure your dishes are done. You know, get your nighttime routine going on where you make sure that you have what you need for the morning and that kind of thing. But some things just are just not going to matter for us anymore. You know, if you're 15 minutes from company, then that's good enough. And then the other thing that I would like to say about this is, um, you know, maybe we could talk because I understand that like, especially with a remodel, if you're having like sawdust and all of that other stuff up, there's only, you can't keep up with that stuff. You have to just kind of wait for it to be all over. Um, but another thing that happens sometimes is, you know, we get kind of slack in other areas because there is that happening. We see the mess. We begin to go into that mode of overwhelm and and um paralyzation and so you just you need to really like snap out of it if that's the case and you know just open up your binder you know get your thing going and then just start because it feels kind of futile when you have a big mess around so there's that all right um tim said i'd like to get going on my bedroom it needs a redo from floor to ceiling 
Okay, well, you know, we have the group now. What I'm going to do, Tim, is I'm going to put you in another group. I was trying to only have two, but there isn't another person. So um, um, for our partners, so we're going to have three in a group. And then we'll just, you know, when we move people around, um, when we, you know, change things up, there'll they'll, they'll be other people added. So um, that's a great thing for you to do with your partners. And then, um, you know, you could always hire me and my sister and we can come and help you personally. Um, all right. Terry said, I don't have speakers, so I'll type. Okay. We'll get my binder out. Yeah. See, I know sometimes that, that happens. And you know, when, you know when it happens, the whole like abandoning the binder? It happens two times. When we get overwhelmed and we think, why bother? And when we get so good at it, we think we don't need it. And neither one of them was true. Okay. Um, Terry said, we'll take Tim. All right. All right. All right, Tim, you're going in with Terry. All right. All right. It's nice to see everybody here. Really? All right. I'm going to um, sign out. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? Another thing, too, I'm going to work on pairing them now. Now that there's so many of them, that there's some that are on the same subject. So I'd like, so if you guys are listening to anything and you say this video would go great with that video because you're listening to things, I would love it if you sent me an email and gave me the links and said these two videos would be great together because I'm going to be working on um, pairing things up and maybe put in categories so that if somebody wants to, um, you know, if you need motivation for par a party or something or a vacation or you know, or this, like say you feel overwhelmed and maybe I have four videos on overwhelm and they all cover a different, you know, kind of slant to it. Then I think it would be good to keep it all in one place. And now that they're accumulating, you know, I can do that. So, and if anybody, you know, ever has two videos that they feel like would go great together, I would love it. Okay. So I'll sign out now. And so I'll just say, thank you so much for showing up for Coffee Talk and we'll meet again next week on Monday. Okay. Bye-bye.